Welcome back. We're going to talk about hair loss. Why? Well, it always helps when I get a comment on one of my videos where someone talks about hair loss. I made a video this week called, Am I the YouTube Televangelist for Atheists? One of the comments I received on that video by someone who goes by the, with the screen name of Shade of Death had this to say, quote, make a video about your hair treatment if you do one, end quote. So let's make that video. Let's, let's uh, take some requests here and uh, I will talk about my hair treatment if I have one, if I do one. So let's address this. The hair treatment, if I am doing one, is right here. And this is my last bottle. It's BRB shampoo. I started using it on July, what, July 31st of 2018. We are in the middle of July of 2019. So uh, I still have one bottle left. I'm finishing up, it's still in the shower. And then I will tap into this. And once I use this, I'm done. Unless they send me more. I don't know that they're still watching my videos. But they sent me several bottles. And, you know, like I said, by the end of the month, I will have been using this for a solid year, faithfully using BRB shampoo which is, you know, uses a bunch of uh, essential oils and natural ingredients and that sort of thing. You know, it's a human experiment. And uh, I, again, I've been using exclusively this shampoo. So I've done nothing else in the last year other than this. Some dietary changes uh, I can tell you about. Uh, shortly after I started using this, basically, let's see, September of, uh, of last year, is that I had stopped being a vegan. I'd been a vegan for five and a half years, a vegetarian for seven, and I stopped. So, so since September of 2018, I went back you know, to eating meat and eggs and dairy and all that good stuff. What I never went back to was eating pork or shellfish because I have been remain, I've remained 100% faithful to being kosher, which is like in the Bible, talking about Jewish people, how they were commanded not to eat basically the bottom feeders of the food chain, like shellfish and pork, that sort of thing. I've remained faithful to that. Let's see, I've been married 11 years, so uh, I went kosher shortly after I got married. So, I mean, at least 10 and a half years. But yeah, I mean, in the last year, I stopped being vegan. I stopped being vegetarian. I started using BRB shampoo. I'm not here to say that definitely that has anything to do with anything. Maybe I would still have my hair either way. I don't know. But I can tell you those changes have taken place in the last year since, again, July 31st, 2018. These are changes that have taken place. I have made no efforts whatsoever other than that. I have not been using any kind of roller, uh, using oil in the air or, you know, anything that's been recommended on the internet. Um, I have not been paying attention to uh, at all. Uh, just to put it in perspective, if you're new to my videos, I am 38 years old. In fact, speaking of the end of the month, uh, basically two weeks from right now, I will be attending my, my uh, 20th high school reunion, which I'm sure I'll be mentioning that uh, at least a time or two leading up to that. So I, am, I just turned 38 in April, and this is the hair. I'll, I'll turn around just to kind of give you an idea of what I'm dealing with here. Uh, you, know, you may, Notice, you may not, you know, uh, I would say maybe pretty typical for somebody who's 38. I don't know, but you, you, you decide. But ultimately, thank you for asking that question. Um, as far as hair treatment, again, the only thing I could really say that, it, that you would even qualify as hair treatment is BRB shampoo. Uh, so, you know, they, I guess they made this based on a bunch of essential oils and the natural ingredients that are supposed to help uh, with that. They make this in Thailand, uh, which is interesting because I did spend two summers there. Uh, I, was a, I was an English teacher for uh, two summers while I was in college and I loved that place, fell in love with that place, Thailand, I love it. And uh, so I was like, wow, that's funny. This shampoo comes from Thailand, that's where it was designed and everything. And they, uh, it, it's funny, even the bottle, a lot of it's in, in Thai. So I think that's cool. So there you go. Uh, I can't tell you for certain, I can't tell you really anything other than what I've been doing uh, in the last year or so, that's what's been going on. 
So just to be clear though, I wanna, I wanna roll this out in case anyone's thinking, no, I have not had a hair transplant, I have not had any work done, uh, I don't use you know powder to make my hair look darker, to cover up. I'm doing nothing other than just using that shampoo. And again, I'm gonna run out of it in a couple months, uh, which I do plan to start shaving my head again for a couple months. By the, probably about the time that runs out, I'll be shaving my head again anyway. Uh, so you know, if they send me more, I'll keep using it. And if they don't, I won't. It's just, uh, I'm just kind of remaining casual about the whole thing. So there you go. Feel free to leave more comments because you know what happens. When you leave a comment, you are planting a seed. And there's a decent chance that seed will grow into, you guessed it, another video, just like this one. This was born of a comment. And that's largely how my channel works. When I see that I say something that inspires someone to ask a question or make a comment, maybe other people would like to hear me elaborate on that. So feel free. Comment section belongs to you. You never know. I actually may make a video in response to what you have to say. I am Nick Schell, and by default, I'm like the number four, five, four, let's go with four. I'm the number four YouTuber in the world when it comes to number of videos about hair loss. All right, comments, they belong right here.